Hey everybody, happy Thursday evening. I hope you've been having a really good week. I am um, doing well this evening. We celebrated my father's 91st birthday, so that was fun. And I'm happy to take a break from that house that we've been dealing with. And I did receive some books that I had ordered prior to the house situation popping up. I also have some new crystals to share and um, a book that I found that belonged to my sister too. So the books that I ordered are right here. This one is The Art and Practice of Astral Projection by Ophiel. Ophiel? I'm not certain how to pronounce this name. But this author is highly recommended, and um, I thought I'd pick up this book because it relates to the topics we've been covering lately. The same sort of situation with this one. I have other Damon Brand books, though, and his books are usually not very big, but I do like them. They're direct and to the point, and I like um, reading his point of view. So this is his Magical Servitors book. And it says, create your own spirits to attract pleasure, power, and prosperity. So, um, servitors seems to be a popular topic right now. And um, so, yeah, why not pick up another book on it and read somebody else's perspective? And then this book, I have thumbed through it already. And I'm so glad I got it. This is Witchcraft medicine, healing art, shamanic, excuse me, shamanic practices, and forbidden plants. So the title pretty much tells you what the book is about. And um, I'm just going to scan quickly on the back cover. I will read through this book and um, do a review on it. I definitely, definitely will. And then this book, I've never had anything from Lori Cabot before. And this is Lori Cabot's Book of Shadows. So it's by Lori Cabot with Penny Cabot and Christopher Penzak. And I do have one or two of his books. And so um, I have gone through this a little bit. And it looks like a pretty interesting book, and it has good reviews, so I'll be excited to check this one out. And then the book that I got from um, that house I've been going through, when I was finding some of my sister's things in there, I found this book, Green Witchcraft 2, Balancing Light and Shadow, by Anne Mora, and I do have one other of her books, I have the... Uh, grimoire for the Green Witch, and I do like that, and I have gone through this a little bit, I haven't read the whole thing, and I have found some very interesting things in here, and what's also great about this, of course, is that it, uh, it was Trisha's book, and I've gone through and been able to see different things that um, she underlined or highlighted or took notes on. And within this book were index cards where she was taking notes on runes. And um, <laughs> so that was cool. That was really interesting. I set those aside somewhere. I have several things that I found of hers that I'm glad I've been able to uh, save. And I'm going to um, and I'll go share some of those things. But all of them need some TLC, you know. And one thing I did find that was in with her stuff is this Malachite Cabochon. So that was cool. And then I was out. Hmm. Oh, I was out looking for crystals for a swap I'm doing with somebody. And I found these for myself. So, kind of as a reward for going through all the things I've been going through in that house. So this is a 
Smoky Elestial Quartz. Pretty cool piece. It has really interesting energy to it. This is an Amatrine Sphere. And this is a Natural Citrine. And I asked what the inclusions were and they said it was sand or silica. And this is from Brazil. So this is my largest citrine now. Natural citrine. Or any citrine really. This is my largest citrine. So you can see the inclusions in there. Hopefully y'all can see. Anyway. I so love this piece. It's so awesome. It kind of looks like little nebula galaxies within the, like a, you know, have you seen those nebula pictures? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> within the quartz here. So, yeah, I'm very happy to have this citrine now to add to my collection. And, oh, one other thing I was going to share. I went to the house today just for a few hours. And um, I found, again, within my sister's things, a card she had purchased for our dad's birthday. Who knows when she purchased it, but it was never filled out. So it was perfect that I found it today, and I was able to give it to him today on his birthday. And then I also found a joke she had written, and I was going to share that, but maybe I'll save that for another time. I don't know. It's pretty funny to me, but anyway. Um, okay, I don't want to make this one too long because I have tons of stuff to do and I have to get back to the house tomorrow. And um, I will do an update on Saturday, I believe. And I thank you, everybody, that um, sent me good wishes on Facebook as well as here on YouTube and on Instagram. It's really awesome to have people um, give you that kind of like moral support, even if it's through the internet, you know what I mean? It's good to know that people understand and they're thinking about you, so that's cool. Okay, so um, as always, I wish everybody truly many blessings, and I hope everything is going your way this week. And I will post a couple more videos, I suppose, over the weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye.